Obviously, a website won't sell itself. For years, we've been explaining to clients that this build it and they will come philosophy is bogus. You may be overwhelmed by the idea of promoting your business and that's okay. The important part is that you take time to freshen up and start a plan of attack. I'm ready for my close up. When it comes to promoting yourself, consistency and high quality content are your best friends. Here are five tips for reaching potential new clients. Give away your knowledge for free, get boots on the ground, be sociable, earn customer testimonials, create better content. So you think you're a web design guru? It's time to prove it. In the age of free, we all have to be willing to give away a little more to win new customers. A great way to reach new eyes is to seek out blogs your audience frequents. There's no doubt that those websites are on the lookout for new, unique content. Shoot them a brief email to introduce yourself, outline your qualifications, and pitch a few topics relevant to that blog. You might be surprised how excited they'll be to accept your offer. If you produce high quality content, it's a win-win for both of you. While a larger audience can indeed be reached online, that doesn't mean you should just ditch those local in-person efforts. By growing your presence in the community, you give yourself the best chance to secure big wins for your business. Whether those wins result in potential customers or meeting other web designers, it's important to try and meet outside of work to help you form invaluable connections. It's really worth it, even if you have to mask up. Actually going out there and meeting people face to face. Um, that means going to networking events and getting involved in the community. I think it makes a lot of people nervous, especially when they're used to working from behind a screen. A lot of these small businesses that are potential clients, they don't know what kind of web designer they can trust. They don't really know any web designers. So if they meet you, that gives you a huge leg up of, on the uh, competition. Try to become the first web design business in your area that locals recommend by joining and staying active in a professional network like your local Business Network International chapter or something similar. Websites like Meetup make it surprisingly easy to gather like-minded people. For example, a group called DIY Web Design for Beginners might attract new leads, while Web Design for Developers will appeal more to your peers and associates. Teaching a class in your spare time can prove a nice little side hustle. Try not to get too caught up in the fee you're paid though. That revenue should really only be the tip of the iceberg. Like attending networking events and forming groups, teaching a class connects you with the community and in turn, promotes your web design business. I know you've heard it before, but I'll say it again. Get active on social media. Think of it as an opportunity to show off your brand's unique personality. Drawing a blank on how to promote your web design business via social media? Just breathe and take it one step at a time. You've gone to great lengths to turn your website into a high performing sales funnel. How about when it comes to your social media pages? Perhaps it's not your posts that are halting conversation, but what users find when they land on your profile. Let's take Facebook for example. Earn that very responsive to messages badge, add milestones, and upload a profile and cover photo consistent with your brand design. A Facebook business page has a boatload of features available to help users better understand your firm and encourage conversation. Take advantage of them. Flying by the seat of your pants might work for your personal page, but can come across as unprofessional when it comes to your business. Using an editorial calendar will keep posts organized and promote a more consistent brand message. With ever-changing algorithms, it's becoming increasingly difficult to rank without strategic content and paid ads. Advertising on social media will help you become better acquainted with your target market. As you learn more about their demographics, you can cut back on the number of users exposed to your ad and focus your marketing dollars on those more likely to convert. Before you start dumping your marketing budget into social ads, make sure to keep your expectations in check. You're probably going to lose money in the beginning and that's okay. Whether it be a pack of light bulbs on Amazon or your web design business, consumers want to see reviews about a product or service before buying. 
Reach out to your existing client base and ask them to leave a review on as many platforms as possible. Testimonials and referrals from happy clients build trust and all important social proof for your business. They carry more weight than telling people how great your services are. And if you can, put in the time to acquire and publish them. You don't need thousands of subscribers, or really any, for content creation to be worth it. Publishing great content like blog posts gives you something valuable to share on social media. If your editorial calendar is made up entirely of links to other websites, you're missing a big opportunity. While it may seem counterintuitive to give away uh, your thoughts and your expertise for free, it's really important because you're establishing yourself as a field expert. And um, who would you want to redesign a website? Would you want someone that you know knows their stuff, like someone who's uh, producing a lot of content that makes sense to you and is helping you, or someone that you haven't heard anything from, you have no idea if they know what they're talking about. It's it's uh, pretty clear that you should be creating content at this point. And even though um, it can feel like you're gonna get lost in a sea of content, it's still important because your competitors are doing it. Content is also your business's ticket to a higher rank in the almighty search engine results pages. Sure, there's stuff already out there on practically every topic under the sun, but that's no reason to throw in the towel. Your competitors certainly haven't. Even some basic keyword research related to your goals can uncover a wealth of potential topics. Dig deeper for unique material and write it better. It doesn't stop here. Don't be afraid to switch up your strategy and try new things to promote your web design business. And if you're still questioning how to begin, a good place to start is reaching out to one of the experienced pros in GoDaddy Care. They're great at listening and can put you on the right track. If you like this channel and this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to make sure you never miss an upload.